Hi everyone, I would like to show you how to do a communication between your Arduino and Nexion LCD display. So in this occasion, I will use ESP32 as the microcontroller. Um, here I have prepared the Arduino code. It is very basic and simple. You can easily use this. So first of all, actually you can use, uh, you can do a communication with your nation um, using the default serial. This which we usually use, uh, which also as same as the serial monitor. So I'm going to upload this code. And basically this code uh, will send five different data and six different data. And these are the code for the data that we would like to send. And I'm going to send the random data between 0 and 100. Uh, as we can see in the serial monitor, uh, this is the format that we are going to send to the Nexion editor in the simulation. So we move to the Nexion editor and just select debug. Uh, for, for, for your information, this is a simple G UI using the text you can easily put here and you can decorate it later. You can just select debug and then down below here there is a user MCU input and select the correct uh, COM port which is mine is COM8 and the baud rate is default 9600 9, and you can just select start you can see there are some data there uh, the random data that we sent from my ESP32 through the default serial which is the cable for us to upload our code and back to the Arduino code if you want to put uh, or send another data you can just simply copy and paste this code copy and paste don't forget to change the variable here uh, to make it simple I use t0 to t blah 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 and the and the variable is as same as this as you can see here t0 t1 t2 t3 you can change it in object name and if you uh, we have added uh, t6 and in this next gen editor I'm going to choose text and automatically at the T6 because my latest data is T5 back to the Arduino so uh, for the next uh, example I'm going to change this basic serial into serial 2 uh, we have just we can just simply change all the serial into serial 2 this uh, method only works with ESP32 or another microcontrollers that have more than one serial. You have to pay more attention about this. And because I have, uh, I mean, I use ESP32 and using the serial 2 hardware. So I have to uh, connect my pin 16 and 17 in ESP32 
into the FTDI connector and from the FTDI connector using USB cable plug into my laptop so I'm going to re-upload this code again just wait for a moment so yes to use the serial tool you have to use an FTDI which uh, in the future if you want to use the real Nexion LCD hardware you are going to connect this pin 16 and 17 from your ESP32 to the Nexion LCD but because we currently we are doing simulation I'm going to use FTDI to connect my 16 and 17 pin outs into my laptop so it can communicate with this uh, Nexion Editor Simulator so I have uploaded the code and if I select the serial monitor it's not going to show anything uh, because we have changed the serial communication and my FTDI USB is on port 9 so in the debug window I'm going to change this COM port into COM 9 because previously COM 8 is the uh, serial monitor or the default uh, COM port that we usually use it for coding and I'm going to, st to start uh, COM9 is denied, I don't know why let me unplug and plug again Wait, I'm going to change if it is not working for you as what is going right now with mine wait, hang on, hang on, hang on there is a little problem here so this is my FTDI okay I'm going to reopen it again no, I select uh, the wrong port COM9 yeah, it's working now so you have to make sure also that your connection is reliable enough, strong enough, appropriate enough. Make sure that you connect RX to TX and TX to RX, vice versa. Other than that, uh, maybe you have just to, as simple as plug and unplug your USB port. So that's the tutorials if you want to uh, have some advice or just questions you can just drop that in the comment section thank you